Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks, but as many of you know, if you've been following my vlogs and my channel, I've been studying for my step one medical board exam. We're just getting into that dedicated time soon, coming up the next few weeks. So it's really been uh, picking up and it's been hard to make videos consistently, but I'm gonna do my best and try to keep videos coming every one to two weeks and uh, we'll see what happens. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Austin. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Illinois College of Medicine located in Chicago. Thank you for dropping in on my page. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about an Anki add-on that I've been liking a lot. I've been using it throughout my studying, but much more as of recently because I've been in this dedicated period. And if you're unaware what that is, it's pretty much a time period that comes right before we take our medical board exams. And we basically have a certain amount of time to prepare for our step one exam, which is one of the biggest exams we take as medical students. So the Rememorize add-on I think is really great because what it does, it allows you to selectively focus on certain cards that you might not know as well in Anki and then reschedule them so you can see them more frequently or just see them again as a reminder. So I think one of the challenges that comes with Anki is that the program treats every card the same. So, you know, a card might have like a complex equation you have to memorize, and it'll treat that the same as a really simple card that's just like a basic fill in the blank, you know? So, cards aren't treated differently. So, of course, you know, everyone's brain works differently as well. So, there's gonna be certain cards that, you know, I struggle with more than you, or someone next to you struggles with more. And so, in the Rememorize add on, you can really target those weaknesses and refocus on rememorizing those cards by rescheduling it. So, we're gonna go into my Anki, and I'm gonna show you more about what that looks like. But as I'm preparing for step one, what's happening to me, I, I'm noticing is that some of my cards are spaced so widely, like it's a five month interval. And you know, my step one exam is in February, so that's much less than five months. So when I'm seeing these cards, if I don't know it's stone cold, I'm sending it off five months, which means I will not see this card until well after my exam. And after my exam, I won't even be keeping up with this deck for Anki anymore. So I'll just never see that card again. You know, might as well just delete it. But uh, what I'm noticing is that when I have those cards that come up and they have a five month interval, I'm using the Rememorize add-on to push it back about 30 days just so I can see it again before my exam if I feel like it's high yield or something that I don't know as strongly. And I think this can really help you, you know, focus your studying, studying methods, you know, cater to things that you're weak on and I think it's a great add-on. So let's talk about it now and I'll show you on my computer screen. All right, everyone, so here we are in my Anki program. As you can see, I've already done some cards today, but I wasn't feeling too efficient, was going a little bit slow, so I figured why not just film a video for all of you. And so what we're gonna do first is actually install the Rememorize add-on that we've been talking about today. So what we're gonna do is if you haven't installed an add-on before, we're gonna go over to our tools, and then go to add-ons. So you can see there's quite a wide array of add-ons here. If you're a little confused on how to install add-ons, which ones are the best and which ones that I'm using mostly, I did make a video on this about the top 10 best Anki add-ons. I'll link it up there and make sure you check that video out. So in today's video, like I mentioned, we're focusing on this add-on here, the Rememorize Rescheduler with Sibling and Logging V142. Basically, we just call this Rememorize. Link for this will be in the description like always with the code and everything. So if you've been following my videos, you know how I like to do things. But if you're new here, uh, go to Get Add-ons on the top right here and you're gonna input the code that's gonna be in the description of this YouTube video. But alternatively, it's also gonna be on the link that I'll show you now and I'll take you over to the Anki Web website where we install the add-ons. Okay, so if you follow that link in the description and go to Anki Web, you'll see the Rememorize add-on we've been talking about here. And so it's really simple to install add-ons on Anki. All you do is scroll down until you find the code, usually at the very bottom. So this code would be what you copy and paste into your Anki program, and then all you have to do is restart Anki, and you'll be good to go with this add-on. But I want to spend a little bit more time on this page to talk about the add-on a little bit more. I mentioned a lot about it earlier in this video, but I want to focus on a couple high yield points. And so basically what the reschedule add-on does, it allows you to reschedule the card on a different day, and this allows you to, uh, to cater your study more specific to you and based on what you're focused on a lot and what might be more difficult for you. So for example, if you go down here, what I want to show you is this information here, and I'll explain this more as we get 
to it and I show you my own Aki deck but basically your option here is you can put a zero I don't really use the options they have up here so don't worry about that you won't really need it um, the key thing is to make a card new again so if you feel you've just never seen this card before and need to redo it completely you can do a zero and make the card new again if you want to change just the due date this is the setting I use the very most it's just to put a negative number so you might think negative is bringing a card like backwards or something but just think about it as you're only changing the cards due date so for instance if I had a card due in five months and like I said before I'm taking my board exam in like two months so I'm never gonna see that card again I'll do like minus 30 so I'll see it at least one more time before my exam because that means I'll see it in 30 days which is about one month and it wouldn't change the due date of the card so when I see it in 30 days it would still be five month interval if you want to change the due date and the interval then you do a positive number so in this case the 21 would make the card due in 21 days and now that interval would be 21 days no longer five months or whatever it was to start and something else you can do is that when you're in your Anki program you can reschedule cards and place them in a certain number of days in the review queue. This is really helpful because sometimes you don't see the card that you want to relearn or refocus on and this comes up a lot when you're reviewing question bank problems. So when you're reviewing question bank problems, sometimes you get a question wrong and it's like, oh my goodness, like I totally knew that it's in Anki and then you find the card and you realize that, okay, you would have seen that in Anki like a week from now but you didn't see it in time pretty much when you took that question bank you got the question wrong so you forgot it and basically what you can do is find the card in your Anki and then place it in the review queue and I usually do it between like 0 and like 20 days or something and then it will just reset the card to that um, review queue and then you'll see the card again in the next 20 days which ensures that you get to relearn that card make sure you see that high yield point again and that will make sure you don't get the question wrong again if you see something similar in your exam or whatever you're using Anki for and the next thing that's really cool about this rememorize add-on is that it doesn't affect the ease of the card. Pretty much the ease of a card is every card has an ease that starts at 250%. And that ease determines what your intervals will look like in your card. And so when you press again a lot of times, what you're doing each time is you're shrinking that ease interval. So from 250 it goes down to 230, can go down to 210, and to the point where you can get down to like 140 or 150% ease. And what this means is it just shrinks the interval of the card and you can never change your ease again. Like there are ways you can do it, but it's not easy. And so pretty much if you have such a low ease, you can get into something they call ease hell, quote unquote, and that's just where you're getting so many cards every day because your ease is so small, which means your intervals are really tiny. So instead of a card following an interval that's like 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, you start seeing a card like 1, 2, 4, 6. Like the intervals are just shorter. So you're seeing all your cards more and more because you're shrinking the ease. What's nice about the rememorize add on is it does not affect the ease, and so that you don't um, get that you know overwhelming amount of cards in your deck when you use this add on instead of just constantly pressing again. But I have to have to make a disclaimer it's that. You don't want to use this add-on for everything, like if you actually get a card wrong, you shouldn't be afraid to press the again because the way the program in Anki works is that when it does shrink that ease interval, it's helpful for a card that you're actually having trouble to memorize because then it will make you see that card more often, which is what's important when you're pressing a card again because you want to learn it better and it's not sticking as well the first time. So let's go back to my Anki program and see if we can um, give you an example. Okay, so we're back in my Anki program. If you paste the code in here and press OK, you would have gotten the add-on. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. So let's just do some cards in my Anki deck now. Okay, the normal heart sound is loudest to the left upper sternum border. So this would be your S2. So you can see that the interval on my card is five months, like I was saying, which is my maximum interval. And my exam date, if you remember, if you look up here to the front, is 83 days. So of course, I'm not going to see that card again if I send it off. So again, normal heart sound is S2. What I like to do is this is a high yield point and the left upper sternal border, if you're following medicine as well, you know that's like the aortic area of your heart. And so I like to just add a note. I do this with a lot of my cards. I think it helps you engage with the material better, helps things stick. So in the extra section, I would say like this is the aortic area. That'll help me remember that for next time. And I'm gonna use the rememorize add-on now. So S2, you can have the rememorize add-on up here where you go to study rememorize and you can reschedule I have it set as a hotkey M I'll show you how to do that in a minute but if you press reschedule then I have my default set to minus 30 because I like to see the cards in about one month I think it's just the right amount of time for me to you know not see it in like two days and already remember it but in 30 days I'll see this concept again I'll get to see that note I put you know it's in the aortic area and that'll be me seeing this card one more time before my exam 
And when I see it again in minus 30 days, what's important is that it would still have a five month interval. So in 30 days from now, I can press good and I'll never see it again before my test. But this add-on allows me that flexibility to choose which cards I want to see again. And also when I'm learning new cards, sometimes things, you know, I get cards wrong, but I don't want to press again because the interval is like, if I press good, it'll be going three days. If I press again, it's like 30 minutes. And it's like, do I really need to see this card again in 30 minutes and shrink the ease for like that card forever? You know, because once you shrink the ease, it shrinks forever. So it's like when I have situations where I'm learning a new card, it's like, hmm, maybe I'll just do the rememorize add on, see it again in like two days, and then I can just be good with it, press good, and it'll go to its normal three day interval, and it'll stay um, at 250% ease. So I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. Now this card would just go and get rescheduled for 30 days. So now I'm gonna go back in my decks out here. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the code and how you can um, program this add on to be more specific to you, set up the hotkeys, and also what works best for you. So again, you're gonna go in tools, add ons. If you go to Rememorize Rescheduler, you can click Config, and you'll get a little bit of code here. So pretty much you can leave everything the same, um, except for your default days on Ask. See, as you can see, mine was minus 30. You can choose whichever you want that's best for you. Remember what I said before, the minus in front just means that you're only changing the due date. You're not changing the actual interval of the card, which is what I like to do. If you do 30, that just means that I would have changed that S2 heart sound card to an interval of one month. So when I see it in a month, the interval will only be a month so if I press good I might see it again in like another month and so it's better I think just to keep the interval the way it is and this using this uh, add-on is just like a reminder in a way that you can have more control over your Anki studying and then finally the other thing I like to do is just change the hotkey I use this add-on like pretty frequently especially closer to my test because there's a lot of things I get a little neurotic and I want to see it one more time before my test just because I don't know it's stone cold if I know it really well I'll trust the program just send it off five months but there are certain things I just want to see again and so my hotkey is M so when I am studying I press M and then I click enter it automatically just sends it 30 days in the future one month and I think you know that's something that's been helping me a lot in my studying. Another thing that I really like about this add-on is again you can reschedule cards that you've already done before that you haven't even seen when you're studying. And so what I mean by that is what I was saying before when you're doing question bank problems. Sometimes you look something up in Anki and you got the question wrong because you forgot some small fact. So for example, if I go and browse and search up a card. So let's say I got a card wrong about the Shox gene. So we know the Shox gene is associated with Turner syndrome and sometimes you just forget a fact like this. And so you can see that this card was due on December 18th and so that would have been like a week from now but I didn't see this card in time so what I can do is actually right click it and reschedule it and from here I can place it in the review queue and I can choose if I just say zero in one day that just means I'd see it tomorrow if I do something like zero in 20 days it would just pick a day between zero and 20 and place it in the review queue so I can basically just reschedule this card so I make sure that I see it again I relearn it and then I'll make sure that I know this concept before my exam so that's something you can do as well and I do this a lot when I'm reviewing my question banks because I want to make sure that the reason I got the question wrong is because I didn't remember a certain fact that I redo that card and then the same way I'll also make my own flashcards when I'm doing question banks and we can talk about that in another video so that's all I have to show you in terms of the code and the rememorize add-on I hope that it's super helpful for all of you and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to use this add-on and I'll be happy to help you with that also drop in the comments if you want me to do a review on any other add-on. If you have any questions about other add-ons that you've seen on YouTube or on Anki Web, I'll be happy to go over that as well. This brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I genuinely appreciate that and it would really help me out. Here on my channel, I love to make vlogs to bring you into my medical journey and just show you what's going on in my life. But most importantly, I'm here to provide valuable advice, tips, and strategies to help all of you succeed in your medical journey no matter where you may be. So I hope today's content on the Rememorize add-on really helps you customize your studying and just really be more in control of what you're learning and to really hone in on the key points that are important to you and what's high yield for your exams, your medical boards, or whatever you might be using Anki for. So thanks again for tuning in and I hope you all have a wonderful week.